Have you ever tried camel milk? I've got the whole family here today and we're gonna try some and see how it tastes. So we just got this in the mail and it actually came in a frozen pack. We've let it come down to cold, not quite room temperature, and we're gonna try it and see how it tastes. You want some? Yeah. Have you ever tried camel milk, Quay? No, never. No, never. It's kind of interesting. None of us, I don't think, have ever tried it. Okay, I'm going to give Joy some first because she's, like, really, really excited. It's very white. It looks very pretty, right? It yeah, looks very thick. It looks very... Really? Yeah? Rich. It's really interesting. It actually has a lot less fat than cow's milk, so it's only about 2 or 3% fat. Hmm. I guess it's natu naturally low fat, but also interesting, it's higher in iron and vitamin C, and also super high in some immune boosting properties. So it actually has had such amazing effects for some people <laughs> that it's reversed their autoimmune conditions and their allergies. I'll put more info down below if you're interested in getting some camel milk. Hmm. Creamy. It's it's creamy. It tastes like it tastes like milk. Right? It's not as thick as the cow's milk that we get. We yeah. are so blessed. We get cow's milk from right down the road. Do you want some more joy? Yeah. <laughs> we get cow's milk from a local farmer. Cow's milk right down the road. It's so awesome. So this seems like liquidier, like less creamy, but it still tastes Creamy. It tastes like milk. It tastes like milk. It's not as sweet, I guess. Mm. Maybe it's because the milk that we get is pretty, you know, creamy. Yeah. The milk we get has a lot of cream in it. Yeah. But if I could have a lot more fat. If you compare it to like, like regular 2% milk. Yeah, like a skim this is milk. It's very similar, yeah. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's actually the most similar milk to um, human breast milk. Mm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. People have reported that thyroid conditions, allergies that they've had for years, and other issues, autism, have been reversed by drinking just, you know, eight ounces of camel milk a day for a short period of time. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let us know, have you ever tried camel milk? What do you think? It's actually not that weird. People all around the world, or in different parts of the world, Joy really likes it, have been drinking it for centuries. So it's not that strange. It just sounds strange to us. It's not in high demand here, that's for sure. And the fact that it's not in high demand makes it very, very, very expensive. I think it's about 8 or $9 for a pint or a quart, I think. You want some more? Joint wants me to give you some more. Yeah. So it's quite expensive. I'll put a link down below to this camel milk. It's Desert Farms. They have pasteurized, which is, this one is pasteurized, and they also have raw camel milk. So camel milk doesn't fall under the same regulations and laws that cow's milk does, so they can sell raw camel milk online, and that's also... <laughs> kind of appealing to some people who really like raw milk but maybe can't access it where they are. Papa wants some more. <laughs> Papa wants some more. Joy would. Joy would definitely buy some again. I think maybe we would try it if we had we'll like an autoimmune condition or something like that. But for now, the demand is so low that the prices are super high and it's not easy to... Oh, Rosie. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. She loved it. Would you try it? Have you tried it? What do you think about it? Do you think it's kind of weird? It was fun. It tastes very yeah. similar. It tastes super yummy. I'd recommend it. If you have a chance to try it out, definitely do. Thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!